Hi. Okay, you remember that internal freedom of youth that we had before words were installed? That's what this symbol stands for. All right, is that every child has a natural right to keep it. All right, so that's the internal freedom. And so what we do is we take these words that only exist in external memory and we override the life. Okay, it goes something like this. It's like, oh, beautiful child of life, we are going to install some magic words into you. We hereby word slave you American. You now belong to the state. Poof, external memory ignorant. And you wonder why we have so many wars. Is that we turn our children that who are fully free inside, who how we should have still stayed. Because if you look at the earth from space, there are no country lines. And if you remove all this external memory, like when you're thinking in your mind, you're like, like what's this word? Where did it come from? How's it, how did it get here? All right? And, and if you start removing these words that people think they are from your being and quit judging people based on words, or just judge on life, you all want to start feeling free inside again. Okay? And then once you start feeling free inside again, and you break these bonds of word slavery, and it's everybody's different. I mean, geez, you know, it's like every kid, when they get words installed wrong, they get turned external memory ignorant. All right? And this is all a product of literacy. As, as illiteracy disappeared, external memory ignorance appeared. It's growing pains for our life. We think 2,012 years is a long time. We operate that way. When in fact, it's only a blink of an eye. The people way out there in the future who were setting up for more freedom are looking back, will be looking back at this time going, oh my gosh, these people are so external memory ignorant. They're tearing up our planet. We're on the verge of nuclear war and it's all because We've taken the internal freedom of our children away when we word slave them. And so we've got a whole bunch of people saying, I'm this word, I'm living under this word, and I'll die for it, and I'll live under this word, and I'll die for it all the time, their life. And they're wearing some tinfoil word hat. Now I understand that the terms of the nature hack are offensive, but when you get on this side of it, these are great tools. They are been tested and trued and tried all over the place on the internet, okay? And there's nobody defeats them because nothing can stop the truth, all right? Now, every war on earth is our fault because we're external memory ignorant. We are the, we are the word before we are the life. I'm American. I'm going to kill you. You know, that's wrong. We can't be external memory. All right, we have to be live. We have to look to the future. There's no more word slavery. We had words installed into us wrong. Now, I love you guys. Now, we can bring peace and freedom to this earth if you're honest about being life before whatever word you think you are. If you break, if you just move, you'll notice the chain of word slavery matches your tinfoil word hat. That's a joke, but I'm just saying, that's true. Because a lot of people, they word slave themselves static. They're so unfree inside. They're mean to other people. Okay? And so, we're not made to live that way. We're made to be life, not word slaves. All right? And definitely not external memory ignorant. You know, no more die for EMI. All right? Every death and every war is our fault. So please, let's free these people First, remember, we got to free ourselves inside. The goal is the same way we felt before we had words installed. Okay, there's no reason that an installation of words for literacy should change the way we are inside. There's only one kind of life on earth, and it's like a flower, and when we put the sin out, it goes out forever. But with the nature hack, we can bring it back. I love you guys, and tip good, man. we got a lot of work to do. We can bring peace in our lifetime. I love you.